guys, this is the Gaming Revolution here, and in today's video, I just have a couple zombies Easter eggs that can actually be found within the Infinite Warfare beta. And these zombies Easter eggs are actually referencing back to Black Ops 3 zombies, which I found very intriguing. Obviously, over the coming days and stuff like that, we'll probably find even more small Easter eggs within multiplayer that are pertaining to zombies. And as soon as we do, in fact, find them, I will make more videos in regards to this Easter egg, and I'll maybe make a video, you know, sort of collecting them all and stuff like that. So this first easter egg is pertaining to Shadows of Evil. In fact both of these easter eggs are pertaining to Shadows of Evil and I was made aware about this by a guy called Tyler Han over on Twitter. I will leave a link to his Twitter down in this video's description. Okay so this first easter egg as I said it's just a small easter egg can be found on throwback and it's as he said regarding Shadows of Evil. So there's various different billboards around the map that actually say Holly's Cakes and this is directly referencing back to Shadows of Evil because on Shadows of Evil there was various different posters as well as carts that said Holly's cream cakes on them and you could actually upgrade your trip mines via a mini easter egg on Shadows of Evil uh, where you would place your trip mines under three different of these carts that said Holly's cream cakes on them and you would be able to upgrade your trip mines so that they would have uh, these cakes on them. So Infinity Ward have actually taken inspiration from Treyarch here and Treyarch's Holly's cream cakes which they created specifically for Shadows of Evil and they've put a cool little easter egg referencing back to Shadows of Evil which I find definitely intriguing. Now on Shadows of Evil there was two different variations of this trip mine upgrade. There was ones that were regarding Holly's Cream Cakes and there was another one regarding Devil O Donuts. You could do either easter egg so maybe there's also Devil O Donuts posters as well somewhere on the map or maybe on one of the other maps but I'm sure there's tons of other references within Infinite Warfare as a multiplayer that are referencing back to Black Ops 3 Zombies which I think is very cool and there's probably some easter eggs we get regarding their zombies mode as well zombies in spaceland now this next easter egg can in fact be found in the menu and I found this immediately as soon as they started with infinite warfare in fact I found it literally within the first five minutes of me starting up the infinite warfare beta because I took a look at the calling card straight away and I noticed that for some weird reason there is one calling card that actually has Cthulhu on it and he seems to be coming out of a rift portal again very similar to shadows of evil and throughout the course of Black Ops 3 Zombies, there has been tons of references to the Cthulhu mythos, mainly on Shadows of Evil. Obviously, the massive Apothecan creature that was in the sky after you unlock Pack a Punch that was based off of Shadows of Evil. We had the meatballs and the parasites. The whole of the Black Ops 3 Zombies storyline and its mythos has been largely taken from the Cthulhu mythos, uh, but mainly Shadows of Evil. Shadows of Evil is definitely the most. Shadows of Evil definitely featured the most influence from the Cthulhu mythos. Zetsubo no Shima took a lot of influence from the Cthulhu mythos as well. We obviously had the distant monster easter egg and supposedly Cthulhu was laid dormant around the Pompeian Islands which is where Zetsubo no Shima takes place and then obviously Revelations has a ton of influence to do with the Apothecans as well which is again referencing back to the Cthulhu mythos. Now we never directly saw Cthulhu at all within the Black Ops 3 Zombies saga. We didn't see him appear once. We saw we saw other creatures such as Nyarlathotep which is what the Shadow Man was based off that were from the Cthulhu mythos but we never saw Cthulhu himself but finally Finally, with this calling card, we finally get a look at Cthulhu. And as I said, that Rift Portal looks very, very similar to Shadows of Evil. Now, I've been looking through all of the calling cards on Infinite Warfare, and there was a ton of other calling cards that looked somewhat similar to Zombies, but I couldn't really tell exactly, so I'm going to be going through them all over the next coming days and decide which ones are in regards to Zombies, because I'm not just going to include all the ones that possibly may, I just want to include the ones that are definitely in regards to Black Ops 3 Zombies. But as I said, there's tons of e other Easter eggs that are going to be found over the next few days and I'll be sure to update you guys with all of the zombies easter eggs that can be found on multiplayer. So anyways, thank you for watching the video, make sure to subscribe if you're not here for the latest and greatest Black Ops series zombies news information, so anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.
Are you guys interested in getting free COD points for 100% free supply drops and all liquid dividium? Well have I got news for you, there's going to be a link down in this video's description where you can download a 100% free app. Upon downloading this app, you can then install apps via this app as well as sharing the app with your friends to build up a ton of points which can then be used to get 100% free Xbox One, PS4 as well as Steam cards which can then be used to get 100% free COD points and or DLC. Hopefully this helps.